Hey, Eagles fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into the Eagles Report, and today, updates on Zach Ertz, Nelson Aguilar, Lane Johnson, and more. Also, a look at the Rookie of the Year, potentially Miles Sanders, our running back. Before we jump in, though, like the video if we want us to win on Sunday. We are one win away from going to the postseason, hosting a playoff game at Lincoln Financial Field. Drop a like if we're going to beat the Giants right here on this video. Without further ado, let's go ahead, jump right in. All right, let's start with our injury update, starting with Zach Ertz, who apparently has a new injury added to his injury report for this week. We know about the ribs. We know how bad they are right now, how he's playing through pain and possibly trying to play on Sunday. Well, apparently, pain is the least of his problems right now because he's added a back injury on the, e the Eagles injury report earlier this week. So it's no longer just ribs. It's now ribs and back. It's looking like, they've not said officially, it's looking like Zach Ertz possibly will not be playing on Sunday because they're just trying to rehab him and get him healthy. It's no longer a matter of wrapping him up, putting the flak jacket on, shooting him full cortisone, and running him out there to see how much pain he, he can tolerate. It's more about long-term effects through a lower back injury. Now, they did not say exactly what the back injury was, how bad it was, because backs are very fickle things. We all know this with Carson Wentz last year. But at the same time, I think his, uh, his, his chances this week to play against the Giants are very, very doubtful. I would not be surprised if he is not on the field on Sunday. I'll have to wait for the final injury report, but I'm going to say it right now. Zach Ertz, probably a no-go against the Giants, meaning Dallas Goddard will be playing a lot more, just like he did <coughs> Excuse me, over this past um, week. Sorry about that. Okay, moving on. Nelson Aguilar, knee, probably not playing on Sunday, according to Doug Peterson. Also, uh, Lane Johnson's ankle, also not going on Sunday. That means Halapoviati Vitae will be starting at right tackle, and then it'll be Greg Ward and J.J. I think a white side, and Robert Davis as your wide receivers for Sunday, which is what they has been working for the Eagles so far the past couple of weeks. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. Although, hopefully, Lane Johnson and Nelson Aguilar can be good to go later on in the postseason. But right now, not, lo lo me, not looking good. For Zach Ertz, not looking good for Nelson Aguilar, not looking good, obviously, for Lane Johnson. It is looking good, though, for Jordan Howard. He should be able to go on Sunday. Head coach Doug Peterson spoke to the media just the other day talking about how they're going to have to be smart about giving him carries and not taking too many away from Miles Sanders because Sanders has been balling out over the past couple of weeks. But it looks like Jordan Howard should be good to go. So no Lane, no Nelly, probably no Zach Ertz, barring some sort of miracle. But it looks like we at least get Jordan Howard, which means, like we said, the starting lineup for Philadelphia on offense is very similar to what you've won with the past couple of weeks in dramatic fashion. Hopefully they're able to keep it up, win, beat the Giants, and go to the postseason as the number four seed. Moving on here, I wanted to mention Offensive Rookie of the Year. It was sure, seemed like a surefire Josh Jacobs or Kyler Murray award this year, but Miles Sanders has played his way into the picture with very, very good games over the past couple of weeks, especially against the Dallas Cowboys. He is now one of four running backs right now who has at least 700 rushing yards and 500 receiving yards. And those names are Alvin Kamara, Chris McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, Leonard Fournette, and now Miles Sanders making him the fifth running back to do that this year. He's in very elite category right now with some of the best running backs in the league. And he's 41 rushing yards away from surpassing Josh Jacobs' total rushing yard record for this season. Josh Jacobs, with Oakland, not going to play this week because of an injury. So if Miles has a big game, 100 yards rushing, 50 yards receiving, or at least 100-plus all-purpose total yards. He could be your rookie of the year, at least from the offensive side for Philadelphia, something they have not seen since really go back to LaShawn McCoy coming out of Pitt and the old uh, Andy Reid offense there, the, the years that they were pretty fun with Sean Jackson and uh, the young Donovan McNabb, or the old Donovan McNabb and the young uh, LaShawn McCoy. So hopefully he's able to win this, although I think if you ask Miles Sanders, as multiple media outlets did this past week, does it mean anything to you? He say, yeah, it's great to be recognized, but I'd much rather go to the playoffs, which hopefully he's able to do both by winning the award and also getting us to the postseason. We're going to need him on Sunday. We'll see how he works the carries in with Jordan Howard, but expect a heavy dose of Miles Sanders, as we have seen over the past couple of weeks in May. Listen, if he can play well, if he balls out, he could be your offensive rookie of the year, something Philadelphia has not had for a very, very long time. There you go. All the time we have for today on the Eagles Report. Guys, we just got the 15,000, sorry, 1,500 subscribers. Cannot thank you guys enough here for the Christmas holiday. If you want to subscribe, you want to join in on the fastest growing Eagles channel, the best Eagles channel on YouTube, click the red subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. We push out plenty of Eagles videos here. You're the first to know here on the Eagles Report all the latest injury news, the rumors, the trades, everything. It happens here. Click the notification bell. Click the subscribe button as well. I would greatly appreciate it. We'll see what happens on Sunday. Like the video if we're going to beat uh, the Giants, which hopefully we do. 
Without further ado, though, for the Eagles Report, I'm Thomas Mott, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.